Yo guys, what is up? Scammer Revolts or Revolts here on the second channel, bringing you guys an informational video today. Okay, now in today's video, I want to talk about ConnectWise Control. ConnectWise Control is a remote control software that you can self-host, you can fully customize, and believe it or not, scammers actually use it to scam people. So you might be looking at my screen right now and you're like, huh, why are you on Microsoft? This is actually ConnectWise Control, totally customized to look like Microsoft's website with their little enter a code here box to lure innocent victims in and have the scammers connect to their computer, right? Here's ConnectWise Control. This is ConnectWise Control. Norton Antivirus. This is also ConnectWise Control. And then over here, this is my own ConnectWise Control. Scammers123, welcome to my ConnectWise Control site. So as I said, ConnectWise Control is a remote control software, but I believe it is one of the worst remote control softwares because as you can see, when you self-host it and you have a license key bot, you can turn it into something like this or you can turn it into something like this, or you could keep it basic and keep it like this and just call it the secure support server, join with a code. So I wanna make a video. I kinda of wanna go over this software a little bit. I also wanna go over how to disable the software and remove it from your computer if you've been contacted by a scammer that is using this software. So you can get that off your computer and stop the scammers from spying on you because they probably are and they're probably listening to your microphone because you can do that on ConnectWise Control. So if I go over to my other screen here, you can see here I have the control panel for that website I showed you, the Scammers123 website. This is a control panel. I'm running the trial version. That's why you saw that little warning at the bottom. Of course, when a scammer has this fully bought and they're self-hosting it, and I believe they can even do this if they cloud host it using their own custom domain, they can make it look like that Microsoft website or that Norton website or whatever. So as you can see here, I got my little thing, direct guest to my little fake scammer website and instruct them to type in the code. So let's go and do that. Let's go over here and let's type in this code. So the code is 92654. Type in the code, press the button. It's gonna say join session, joining your session. It's gonna download this little applet here. We're gonna open that. It's gonna ask for administrative privileges, of course, because they wanna snoop over all of your files. Not just your public files, they want your personal files. And there we go, we're connected. So now I can go onto here, on the control panel, and I can join the session. So I'm pretending I'm a scammer. Ooh, I got somebody. Join the session, open the Screen Connect client. Boom. Nope. Oh. It's, it's a little delayed. Get, give it a second. There we go. Boom. <laughs> there we go. Now I have control of the computer. So I can go on here. I can view the different monitors. Oh, I can blank out their monitor. I can block their input. We can share clipboard so I can copy things off of their clipboard. I can send clipboard keystrokes. I can spend my own in input, but I don't think scammers are ever going to do that. I can automatically reboot to normal mode, reboot to safe mode on the computer. I can go here, I can transfer, receive, and send files. I can go here, I can screen capture, take screenshots, record the entire screen, and the victim won't know. I can go here, I can listen to what the victim is saying through their microphone. I can also speak to them through their speakers from this client. See the participants in the channel. We can go and annotate and draw on their screen. Send them messages. Oh, there we go. We got a helpful Google search where I can look up the victim's number and see where they're located. Then we have some information about the connection. So as you can see, I went over that pretty quick, but you essentially have full control of the computer when you're connected to someone's computer like this. Now let's take a look at the virtual machine real quick. So as you can see, you're like, oh wait, but it says your computer's being controlled by cloud account administrator. And your wallpaper's gone and you go here and oh, you can you can close the program. Not when it's self-hosted and you can customize all of that, <laughs> right? Because when it's self-hosted, you can actually customize all this. You can make it so the wallpaper stays, so this doesn't show at all. 
so this does not show up and you can't close it like that. And the only way to close it is through your task manager, going into it, finding the program, Screen Connect. So we go all the way down here, find Screen Connect, closing that, but oh, when you restart your computer, it automatically starts. So unfortunately, because I'm on the trial version, I can't do all those fun things that the scammers do. But I'm gonna show you guys a little clip from today's live stream, actually. It's just a short little clip to show you guys what it looks like when the scammer connects from their own self-hosted version of this Screen Connect software by ConnectWise Control. And I don't know, just tell me when you think that they're actually connected and viewing my computer. Well, this is going into the... Now press the enter button for search. Oh, here we go. Here's a perfect opportunity to show, <laughs> to show how they get access via ConnectWise Control. Okay. So what's come up on your screen, sir? Just to let me know so I can help you out. Um, let me say it says secure server. Yes, sir. It's asking you for server code, right? Secure code. Secure server, secure code. Yeah. Yes. So just put over there 35924. Three five nine two four. Okay. Yes. Then you have to click on the arrow shine. You can see over there. Okay. Arrow shine. An arrow now, shine. Come up on your yes, sir. Okay. Now what's next? Come up on your screen. It's downloading something. Okay. So let it be, let it be done, sir. Just to let me know. Okay. It's done. Okay. So double click on it. Okay. Now open uh, open that. Okay. There we go. Now he has access. <laughs> so now, sir, just do one thing. Look, just open a new tab. Nothing shows here. Nothing shows here. Nothing's running. <laughs> It's so bad, this software. Okay, after seeing that clip, you can see that when the scammer connects to my computer, going down here, there's nothing there. There's no menu coming down here. My wallpaper's not gone. And the only way to close that is either closing it in Task Manager or knowing a little bit about how to navigate your computer in the way to actually go and close out the software entirely because it doesn't make it easy for you. So I just wanted to make this video because this software I think is the worst. It's the worst. As you can see here, just, just from the couple of minutes into this video, you can see how destructive this can be when you self host it and connect to somebody's computer because it's persistent. You have full control of the computer and it's undetectable to a scammer victim, to somebody who doesn't know much about computers to the point where they let a scammer onto their computer, steal their financials, information, steal their photos, steal their photo IDs, and all that stuff. It's, re it's really horrific. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to show you how to actually remove this software. Now I have this little picture file here. This was sent to me by California on the forum, techscammersunited.com, remove screen connect. So I'm gonna go through this with you guys. As you can see, I'm connected on screen connect to my virtual machine here. We're gonna follow this tutorial and I'm gonna go along with you guys to remove this. So if you have ever been in contact with a scammer that used a website that looks like this, maybe it looks like this one here. It says, welcome, join with a code or it can look completely different like this. But the main thing to pay attention to is that it's asking you to enter a code or join with a code. You enter your code, click the enter button, and it's gonna download something that you open and execute for the scammer to actually get connected. If you have ever done that on your computer, you haven't reset it, and you haven't gone through this process to remove that software, chances are the scammer still has that connection to your computer and can look at your screen whenever he wants, 
He can listen to you speak whenever he wants. He can go through your files whenever he wants and so much more. So let me show you guys how to remove this. So to remove Screen Connect, you can see here. So we're going to go to Windows Administrative Tools. So to do that, you can just go to the Start menu and type Administrative Tools. You can see here it's already showing up for me. Administrative Tools. We're going to click on that. It's going to open up this. This is just like a little directory to the actual tools. And then it says here we're going to go to Services. So we're going to go down here and you can see Services. Double click on that. That's going to open. We can close this Administrative Tools window. Going to go to Services. And now what we're going to want to do here is it says look for Screen Connect. So it's just going to be called like Screen Connect or Screen Connect Client, something like that. So we're going to scroll through this list. It's alphabetical, so it shouldn't be too hard to find it. And I've actually already found it here. We have two running right here, but we want to go to the one that's running. This one is from a botched tutorial that I made earlier. So just pretend this one doesn't exist. But we go here and we can double click on that. And then as you can see here, it says change to disable. Look for startup type and change to disable. So that's going to be under general. So you can see these tabs here. You can click on these. Make sure you're on general. Go down here. It says path to executable. And then right under that, it says startup type. Click that automatic, which means it's going to start every time you turn on your computer and put it to disabled. So it no longer turns on with your computer. Make sure you click apply. If you just click OK, it's not going to apply. Apply it so it actually disables that. It's going to do a little loading for a little bit, then click OK. And if we go to the service here, it still says running, so we need to stop that. So it says click apply, click OK, then right click on screen connect and click stop. So we're going to right click this here, stop. And then as you can see here, that top bar went away. We can close this now. I'm going to close this here. My wallpaper has returned. If we go over to my VM that's running the control server, you can see here it says waiting for guest. You have successfully connected to the session, but your guest has not yet. So let's test restarting this. So I'm going to go here. We're going to restart the virtual machine. And we're going to see if ConnectWise Control still manages to have access to this virtual machine or not. As you can see here, we're coming up to the login screen. I'm going to log in, type in the password. You can see I'm on my virtual machine. You can see that my wallpaper, no bar up here. And if I go to the control server, you can see right here, it's still waiting for guests. If we close this, leave the session open, right click and try to join it. Open the Screen Connect client. And it still says waiting for your guests. So now they are totally disconnected. If I was the scammer right now, I'd be in a world of hurt because I wouldn't have access to the victim's files anymore. And their computer would be safe. Now, I hope this video is helpful. I know it's a very straight to the point video. I kind of want it to be that way because in case anyone is coming to this video just for information, this is, you know, not my normal type of videos. It's a informational video because a lot of people get scammed by this software. We actually have a list on TSU. If we go here, which will be linked in the description, by the way, if you have ever ran, if you have ever ran into scammers like this with these sites, we have a list here. You can submit domains to, you just reply with the domain and I'll check it and add it to the list. But you can see here, Last updated on the 20th, we have a pretty sizable little list here. And these are all ConnectWise control websites. So these are all scammers websites that are used to lure people in and scam them and connect to their computer without the person ever really knowing that the scammer has this much access to their computer. So if you have any domains, that you'd like to submit here, submit them here. We've already had a couple of these domains. Um, if we go this one, let me see. No, this one's still support. It's a, I got a couple here that they've, yeah, some of them, they've started turning them off and stuff because I think people have been going on these lists. They, they changed this one to like a shoe website. People are going on these lists 
and uh, going to these websites and making reports and such on these domains. So some of them are actually starting to get shut down now, which is actually really nice. So if you have any domains, feel free, go up on TSU. This post will be linked in the description below and you could submit a domain to be put on this list. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video here. It's a very short, straight to the point video. I just wanted to throw out some knowledge and some facts on this software and maybe you guys can see now why I think the software is so bad. And keep in mind in this video, the, the control server that I showed you guys, that is the trial version, which I do not have full control over, obviously. If you're self-hosting it or you have the paid version, you can change the domain name, you can change the look, you can change how the software behaves when it's downloaded onto the client's computer. There's so much freedom into changing how the software interacts. And I think it would be great if ConnectWise Control actually started to limit that so scammers can't run rampant making their fake Windows support websites that looked exactly like Microsoft's website and luring people in and giving them access to their computers. So if you guys like this video, give it a like. I will have all the links for all this information in the description below, including the image that was sent to me from California on the form showing the steps on how to actually remove this. So if you have to do that yourself, that image will be linked below. But thank you guys for checking this video out. If you have anyone that you think could benefit from this video, anyone that you think could be vulnerable to scams, make sure you share this video to them and give them this knowledge because this is, this is one of the newer and rising ways that scammers get connected to their computers. And the more I go, the more I see this software being used. So definitely make sure to walk, watch out for that. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this one and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.